Hey, Techweed, how's it going? How's it going? How do you think it's going? Look, Clement, I don't know who you think you are, but I used to work at Google, okay? Yeah, I was wondering if you would be down to give me a uh, referral to Facebook. You know, you're sure on last month's payment. I mean, I guess I could pay you. Well, it's, uh, it's not gonna be cheap, you know. I don't work for free. I don't do open source. It's gonna be $5,000. And just for having taken the time to talk to me, I'm doubling it. 10,000. All right, I guess 10,000 it is. Thanks. Bye. What's up, everybody? How's it going? So first of all, the clip that you just saw was obviously not serious. Please do not take it seriously. I did not bribe the tech lead for a referral, though that would have been cool. But with that said, I do get asked all the time about referrals. How do I get a referral? What's the best way to get a referral? So I figured, let me make a video on referrals and how to get them. Now, while most of my experience lies in tech, specifically in software engineering, I think this advice applies to non-tech roles and other tech roles that aren't necessarily software engineering roles. So let's start by defining what a referral is exactly. It's very simple. Basically, you've got someone who works at a company who goes to the recruiters or the hiring managers at that company who are actively you know, recruiting for a specific role and says, hey, I know someone, maybe it's a friend or someone I've worked with before, but I know someone whom I deem is qualified for this role and I'm willing to recommend them to you. I want you to consider them above other people because I think they're really good and they would be good for this job. Right? And on the flip side, the recruiters or the hiring managers, what they're getting is they're getting someone who works at the company, who's been through the company's interview process or whatever, and who is saying, hey, I know someone who I think is gonna be a good fit. So as you can probably tell, from the company's perspective, referrals are really good because you sort of get a presumably really good or, or, or competitive candidate handed to you on a silver platter. You don't have to sift through thousands of resumes or hundreds of applications. You just have someone who already works at the company and who tells you, here's a great candidate, please interview them. So it's a really, it's a very powerful signal for a company when someone gets referred, assuming that the referral is what I'll call legit. And because it's such a powerful signal and people who get referred, people who, who give really good referrals tend to give qualified candidates and these people get hired and so on and so forth, people who successfully refer candidates are often compensated by the companies that they're referring the candidates to, which is why it's not uncommon, especially in big tech, for companies to pay what's called a referral bonus to the person referring, saying, hey, if you successfully refer someone to us and we end up hiring them and that person ends up actually starting, well, we'll give you X thousand dollars or X hundred dollars just as a, you know, as a token of our appreciation. And by the way, these referral bonuses can actually be pretty high, you know, north of like $5,000 depending on the company. Now, in case I haven't made it abundantly clear by now, the key thing for this entire sort of referral process to work is that the referral itself has to be sort of legit, meaning the person giving a referral has to actually be able to say, I genuinely vouch for this person. I would genuinely recommend them. And what that usually translates into in real life is the person giving the referral has to actually have worked with the person that they're referring or has to know them. They have to be really good friends or maybe really good coworkers. You know, they have to have some relationship. And by the way, when you're actually giving a referral, although I'm sure that it's different depending on the company that you're at, but typically you're gonna fill out some sort of questionnaire or form or application where you actually have to explain, in what capacity do I know this person? How have I worked with this person in the past? Do I only know them a little bit or do I know them really well? Am I really uh, well versed in the things that I've seen them do or am I not? 
So all in all, what I'm trying to get at is that this is not like a trivial thing where I'm where where referral is just you know tossing a name in a in a pile, right? A referral is something that takes a long time to or takes a decent amount of time to like do, and it has to be legitimate. So with that said, I want to share with you three instances of referrals that I've personally received, as well as a couple of examples of referrals that I've given to other people. So let's start with the referrals that I've received. The most recent one that I got was actually from the tech lead, the ex-Google tech lead. He referred me to Facebook, and the way that it happened was very organic. Basically, he had been an affiliate for my company, Algo Expert, meaning he was sort of promoting our product uh, on our behalf. And we had established a nice relationship. We had gotten to know each other. We had done a couple of collaborations on YouTube. One of them, we talked about like how I built Algo Expert from a systems design point of view. And another one was about my story coming from a coding bootcamp. And one day I was emailing him about something related to the affiliate partnership. And then I said, hey, by the way, I'd be interested in, in you know, an opportunity or looking for a new opportunity. How do referrals work at Facebook? Would you be down to give me one? And it just sort of worked that way, right? I knew that while I had never worked with him directly from a sort of coding point of view, he had seen my work firsthand with Algo Expert, for instance. He had sort of understood like how I built the platform. He was he was he believed in the platform enough to promote it himself, right? He knew that I worked at Google. He he had seen all of that. He had seen all of these behaviors in me, and so he was willing to do it. Now, this tech lead referral is pretty different from the two other referrals that I want to share with you here. The first one of the other two um, happened, this was way back before I even worked at Google, so you know, two and a half years ago. I had just graduated from my coding boot camp, and uh, my, one of my best friends, Antoine, who's also my co-founder on Algo Expert, um, his girlfriend at the time worked at Lyft the ride sharing company. And he knew me extremely well. We'd worked, you know, all throughout high school and during college on projects and all that stuff. And so he sort of could vouch for me really firsthand, told told uh, her about me and asked her if she could refer me. And she did, and it was a successful referral sort of through a third party. Um, so that was an, another example of a referral where I did work with someone really firsthand, probably even closer than I did with Tech Lead, but he then had me get referred through somebody else. And the third referral is another referral that I'd gotten around the same time after I graduated from my coding boot camp. That was, I think, to LinkedIn, and that was, you know, a close friend who just directly referred me, period, right? He, he put in the referral, he didn't go through some third party, it was at the company that he was working at, and that just worked out really well. Now, as for the two referrals that I've given that I want to share here, the first one was about, I think, six months ago, and it's actually the first referral, uh, my first successful referral at Google, meaning the person actually got hired and is going to be starting at Google, and it's one of my best friends from college. I, knew, I know him extremely well. He asked me for a referral. I was happy to give it to him, and uh, he got the job. He's going to start in, like, September, unfortunately, because I've, I've left the company uh, before he joins um, I will not be getting my referral bonus, which kind of sucks, but um, that was a successful referral. Now, the second referral that I've given that I want to share with you is one that was a bit different. It wasn't someone that I knew. Uh, I think he had graduated from the same boot camp that I went to, but a few months after I finished it. And uh, he reached out to me because he had a podcast that he was running and he wanted to invite me on the podcast. and sort of like, you know, interview me and ask me about uh, how I'd gotten to Google and how I had founded Algo Expert and all that. We sort of established a relationship from there. And then, you know, he asked me for a referral and I was happy to give it. You know, it was a sort of different kind of referral than the one I gave to my best friend or one of my best friends from college. It was more the kind of referral that maybe Tech Lead gave to me, right? Maybe it was sort of softer referral where you haven't worked entirely firsthand with a person, but you still know them enough to get a good signal from them and it just worked out. So these are the examples that I wanted to share. The key point, the sort of common thread between all of these is that for a referral to be effective, as I've said multiple times before in this video, the person referring the other person has to know them pretty well in some, some capacity. They have to be able to speak to their ability.
This is why it's very important to grow your network and to grow your network early on in your career. I think that once you land that first job, it becomes increasingly easy to get referrals just because you start to know people, you know, your coworkers who go work at other companies and you can talk to them and so on and so forth. But the difficulty arises when you're at the very early start of your career and you don't necessarily know anybody in your field, which is why things like you know events, networking events, career fairs at universities, class projects, things like that can be really important because you can build up relationships that can that you can then use as a network if you ever need a referral. So hopefully this has sort of cleared up and answered any confusion and questions that there might be around referrals. If you found this video helpful or informative, please just toss a like button to me, I would really appreciate that. You can just like toss it either overhand or underhand, however you want, just toss it. We'll all be happy. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to, to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, yada, 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 the whole nine yards. See you in the next one.